Hi there. In this video, I'm actually going to be showing you how to make a laser pulse sound using a machine room loop. In order to do this, you're going to need the machine room loop. And you're also going to need a sound editor such as SoundForge or Audacity. Now to get started, I'm actually going to play the room machine loop for you so you can get a chance to hear what it sounds like. Well, right now it doesn't really sound like a laser pulse in any way, shape, or form. Uh, it definitely sounds like an ambient machine tone that you would play for a machine in a room. Really, it, it doesn't have too much of the pulse sound that we're used to hearing in sci-fi. So um, the first thing I'm going to do to actually get it started is I'm going to go up to Effects, and then I'm going to go down to Pitch, and then I'm going to go to Bend. So here we are at the Bend window. Now I'm going to raise the semitones all the way up to 24. And what that means is this enables the pitch to bend all the way up 24 semitones, which is two octaves. So we go all the way up two octaves, and we all the way down on the right. So it goes a full from all the way up to all the way down. And make sure you have the preserve original duration unchecked. I'm going to hit OK. And I'm going to play that for you. And that in itself was actually a, kind of a cool change uh, on its own. That actually sounds kind of like a machine shutting down sound. And I actually use that a lot uh, for shutting down machines, shutting down a mechanical type gun. And it's something people are used to hearing. And it's really a cool effect. So that's the first step. Now the second step is actually to do it again. So pitch bend, hit OK. See what that sounds like. And you're really starting to hear right in this area where the, it's actually starting to sound a lot like a pulse gun. So the whole thing pretty much sounds kind of like a, a really big pulse cannon. Maybe like a, a big shot if you were maybe an exterior shot of the planet shooting or something outlandish. I'm actually going to go ahead and move on to the next step, which is pitching it down a third time. There we go. And it's pitched down a third time. Now we're going to play this again. And it's starting to sound like a pulse gun. Now one of the steps that we need to do is there's a lot of this bassy rumble towards the end that doesn't really fit too well with this pulse, so I'm going to actually take that out. So it seems to start right about here. So I'm going to zoom on in there. I'm going to take it out. Let's see what we got here. There you go. There's a big thick pulse gun. Say you want it to actually have a loop, you can play around with the loop regions up here. What you can actually do with that loop is you can actually insert the loop into the metadata of this wave and you can actually import it into an API and it'll already know where that loop is and the release. So I'm going to quick show you how to do that. So uh, I'm going to go to special. I'm going to go down to insert sample loop. And you have your sample loop window. Options are one shot, sustaining, or sustaining with a release. And you're going to go with sustaining with release. And you can change the edit for sustaining. And usually you want to keep that at infinite loop. And then go to release tab. And I usually change that to one. So hit OK. Now we have a sustaining loop and the release loop. And I'm going to go ahead and slide the release loop over. And there you have it. Sustaining loop. And the release. A pulse sound created from an engine machine room loop. 
I hope this video helps, and be sure to check out my page in the future for more videos. Thank you.